Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I've got an unbagging and this is a special one for me. So I had a lovely lady called Anna contact me from newcraftday.com um, and asked me if I would like to review some products for them on my channel. And I said, yeah, I've not used the company before, so I would love to have a look at their products. So this is the bag that I got from them. So let's have a look inside and see what we've got. Okay, so it looks like we've got a canvas here. And we've got a little box, like boxes. And then we've got a little extra. Okay, let's get rid of the bag. Okay, so we've got three products to have a look at. So thank you, Anna from New Craft Day, for sending these through to me. Um, there's quite a few special offers um, that they do do. The offer that's live at the moment as I'm doing this video is if you spend... $50, I mean, it's in dollars, but obviously it can convert to whichever country you're in. Um, if you spend your $50, you get two products free, which is brilliant coming up to Christmas. You know, you can start doing your Christmas shopping. And if you knew, use the code New Craft Day, all one word in lowercase, 0505, um, you'll get 5% off as well. So a discount code and uh, get two free gifts if you spend over $50, which is very easy to do when you look on these sites. I know I have a wish list like, um, well, very, very long, shall we say. But yeah, so pop along there and have a look. Um, and it does work it out for you. I did go onto the website and as you start adding things into your basket, it does tell you how much more you need to spend to get your two free gifts. So you don't have to be sat there with a calculator working it out. We'll do it all for you. So let's have a look at, oh, shall we start smallest first? Okay, so let's have a look at this one. This is, I just couldn't resist it. It is so blingy, it's unreal. And it's a diamond painting pen, but look at that bling. How pretty is that? And I just like the shape of it as well. It's like, to be honest, it's a little bit like a mascara size, um, but it's just so shiny and blingy. And I'm such a magpie, uh, I just had to have it. So let's see, does the lid come off? Yep, oh, that's not a button. That's just decoration there. I was thinking he had to press that, but oh, that's... Uh, yeah, very good. Oh, look, and it's a square tip. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, on the website, it is $3.43, and I paid in English uh, money £2.48, which is amazing. But yeah, look at that. And it's a nice, it's actually very light, considering that there are all those diamonds, those gems on it. It is very light, but I mean, how posh do you feel? And it's not really long as well, so anybody who likes one that's not quite so long, um, you know, then maybe heavy at the end there. But yeah, I just thought it was really good. And it actually is very comfortable to hold, as you can see there, because it's got like the curved shape on the back there. You can either hold it that way and drill or... Yeah, I, th I would say that, that it's better to hold it like that because you don't really want um, imprints of the uh, gems on your hands. But that is lovely and a nice lid as well. It's, uh, it's quite nice to pop in your handbag, that. That's, uh, you know, if you're going anywhere. But yeah, imagine going to your retreats or uh, going around to your friends and pulling this one out and say, oh, look at my new pen. It's so blingy. Very nice. So yeah, very impressed with that one. We'll have to be giving that one a try and I do like the ones that have the covers on as well because it just saves your uh, tips from getting bent there okay so oops that's number one so next of all let's have a look at this one this is a canvas okay so I have opened it so that I'm not struggling okay get rid of the rubbish there let's have a look at this one. Okay. Oh yes I remember oops we've got a little bit stuck there just rolled itself up a bit that's okay easily remedied and it's poured glue so we're not going to have any problems with that so let's just give it a bit of a squidge down this way and see if I can do this do you think I can do this 
it can all go horribly wrong when I'm doing it on camera. Oh, look, and it has. <laughs> I don't know why I try doing it on camera because it always comes out wrong. <laughs> oh dear. Try not to make YouTube videos number 363. Possibly straighten out your cameras first. Okay, I think you can now see that. And what else would a good old uh, British lady have? But a nice canvas with a pot of tea and a cup and saucer and we say tea up here which yeah I think that is absolutely lovely I love this picture this is going to be done and it will be going in my kitchen because I haven't got any diamond paintings in my kitchen okay and I'm back so right um <laughs> I swear there is a button underneath this desk that when I put my foot on it, it's like a signal to anybody and everybody that they can make as much noise as possible <laughs> and that they can come to the door. We just had two people come to the door in the space of like five minutes. I just got back upstairs and somebody else came. Never mind. Anyway, so this beautiful picture. I just think the colour palette is wonderful. I love it. Um, we've got our lovely clock here which is showing at, where are we, uh, that 10, 10 past, nearly 10 past 10. So, whew, morning tea, yeah, that's pretty good for me. Lovely teapot, lovely pink teapot with a wonderful little cup here with some roses around the bottom there, look. Really pretty. We've got our little sign there. Um, we've got a little cherub up there, look, holding the A. And then we've got a very scroll script type uh, tea at the top and I thought this would just make a wonderful picture for my kitchen so that's where it's going to go. I've got some rose highlights and this one is actually uh, picture printed. Uh, it's a new um, style that they're actually doing with the diamond paintings now. So rather than turning uh, the picture into like um, little squares and pixelating it all, what they actually do now is print out the picture and then put the letters and numbers and symbols over the top. So you still get like the natural curves of things. So you don't have like blocky leaves and flowers um, and blocky numbers. You know, it doesn't look pixelated when you look at the picture. I think this is a lovely canvas. It's mid stiff, between stiff and soft. It's not one of those really, really hard ones that feel like cardboard, but it's nice enough to give you some structure to it whilst you're doing it. We've got uh, a key code top and bottom with your DMC codes on, which is fantastic. So, yeah, 22 colours, which is a good uh, good number for this, particularly as the background is all, is it, is it all one colour? Yeah, so you've got a lot of colour blocking on the background on this one, which if you like using your multi-places is great for you. Um, looks like we're all, yeah, they're all capital letters, which is marvellous. Uh, yeah, like the key code, that's really good. Um, we're a little bit samey with P and R, but they are quite a different, well, they're the same colour palette, but that's quite dark, and that's a white one is the R, and the P is black, so that's not so bad. Um, S, and no, we haven't got any numbers, so I tend to find S and 5 I have trouble with, but there isn't those on there. Uh, e and F are very different colours as well. So yeah, that looks pretty good to me. It's a lovely clear drill field. Really nice. So I'm impressed with this picture. Uh, it says it's a 30 by 40, but with it being poured glue, um, what we'll probably find is we lose a bit. So yeah, it's a 24 centimetre, which is nine and a half inches by uh, 34 centimetres which is 13 and a quarter inches. So we're losing six centimetres around the edge. But uh, I'll have to double check. But as far as I know, there was the picture on the website that showed you the canvas size and then the drill field size as well. Uh, it seems to be something now that manufacturers um, are actually showing you now that you, you know, you're you not getting a 30 by 40 full drill field. Um, 
You are. Yeah. I do show you like a little chart, but I will double check again on that. But yeah, I think that's really pretty. I'm really happy with that. So let's have a look at these drills. It's like some great colours. It's the uh, nice quality drills in the silver and blue packaging. You do tend to not get oops, as much <laughs> trash in these, I tend to find. Oh, nice big numbers as well. There's no uh, DMC codes on the packets, just the canvas number, which is A481. And we have A481 on the packets. So if you get them uh, lost from your canvas, you will be able to find them. Okay, so let's start at the beginning. So number one is a very nice pale pink and like a peachy orangey colour. And a brown sort of ecruy colour and a pale brown sort of beige colour. And is that a 310? Let me have a look. No, that's not that one. It is 844. Dark colour, another peach colour. Stone colours, a bit of grey one and a bit beige one there. Pink and green and a dark brown. So there's no 310s in this at all. Uh, another pink and like a cherryish red and another pink there, lovely and sparkly. Oh, and these must be the background then. So what's the background colour? Is 16, which is 3774. Ooh, so that's really pretty. I like that. So we've got three bags of those. Okay. And another peach colour, a lovely. Oh, ooh, that reminds me of that when you used to get violet cream, not violet creams, the rose creams. And that reminds me of like the little sugar bit that you used to get on top. And then there's another brown colour there. I'm always on about chocolates and food, can you tell? <laughs> okay, and number 20, we've got a couple of brownie beiges. And then your final colour is 3865, which is your just slightly off-white there. But yeah, they're looking pretty nice quality jet. It's very sparkly, but it's a lovely colour palette, real soft. Um, and I think, you know, it looks really sort of greeny beige, actually, the background. But we're going to have these peachy colours. So, yeah, quite looking forward to doing this one. Let's get the kitchen started with diamond painting. <laughs> I'm definitely going to have them all over the house. Oh, and then the final thing. Did I tell you how much that one was? Um, on the website, it's $5.52 and I paid £3.99 for it. Sorry, I didn't pay for it. That's what I would have paid if uh, they hadn't have been gifted to me by Anna. Um, very kind of her. Okay, so let's have a look at this one. And this one is a little scene. So it's a diamond painting comes in a nice little box it has got a little bit squished but uh, it's come a long way so yeah that's fine okay so let's have a look and see which one we got okay and, oops. Ooh, lots of bits so that's the box of it we move that canvas out the way a moment okay so we've got a standard little toolkit but your wax and your pen with just a single placer Enough to do your project. Okay. And then, oops. I'll show you the toolkit on the um, canvas. I don't think I did, did I? So yeah, the toolkits are the same on uh, both kits that I've got there. Okay. So, lovely packet of, ooh, special sparkly gems. And this. Let's get it out of this packet one of those cute little scenes okay so it's all acrylic with a white background and you've got your holes ready to put your items in there and i show you the this one is a Christmassy one okay so we've got a Santa there and a house in the background so you've got your little stand and it makes a 3d scene we've got our lovely house 
front you've got all your diamond painting on and we've got your Christmas trees there and Christmas tree all decorated in the background and we've got uh, a Santa and his sleigh decoration there look on the uh, top there of the windows there must be a bay window there must be a big bay that goes right across the front because he stood on top there so that one will stand in the background let's see how easy these are to get in oh yeah really good i won't push it in too far because i will have to take it apart to uh, diamond paint it uh, we then have oops oh that one's got stuck on there taking a bit of the glue off but we've got our magic glue so we're okay we've got our christmas tree with all the presents underneath there all to be diamond painted so i think that one must go in that slot there yep and then we have santa who's going to be coming down the driveway lovely clear drill fields and holding all his presents oh, i love this this is really pretty uh, where does that one go that one must go there i think yeah santa must go at the front otherwise i'll be blocking the tree and then we've got one of his reindeers look just having a, a rest um all diamond painted again but to be honest i think i would put a red gem just use some magic glue or some sealer just uh, to put a little red gem on his nose so that he becomes rudolph <laughs> you've got to have a rudolph in a santa display and then your little Reindeer sits there, so they all sit in really nicely. As I say, I've not pushed them in too far, but that's your little 3D scene. And I love these because it's something that's you're going to bring out year after year. Um, I would recommend once you've diamond painted it to seal it afterwards. But uh, yeah, you're just going to have this as a decoration and even hand it down. And if you're going to, oops, sorry, I've got a bit of glare there. If you're going to use it, to, is that better? Try and not get to get the glare on it. Uh, yeah, if you could hand this down, um, possibly as an heirloom, you never know. Uh, or you could give it to somebody as a present or in place of a Christmas card. Um, you've got a, quite a big part there. Um, you could just put a little bit of paper or a little bit of paper underneath. You know, Merry Christmas. Um, and it's a card that somebody will bring out of uh, storage year after year. But this one will be going um, above my fire on my mantelpiece. And uh, you could even put a little tea light at the back of it, possibly a battery operated one. I would maybe put it um, in the gap there between the house and the tree and it would just light it up a little bit. Just give it a little bit of like a warm glow. Um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend naked flames near sort of glue and perspex. It will melt it or set it on fire. But you can get these tea lights now that are battery operated and they're brilliant. So yeah, but that's really pretty. I could stand it behind and it would like maybe give the light coming through the windows. But yeah, I love the reindeer. The expression on Santa's face is lovely. Sometimes they look a bit evil, some of the Santas that you get and all the gems going on the tree and everything. I think the detail on that is superb. Oh, that's lovely. Let's just do a quick measurement. Um, so a crossways. It is uh, 15 centimetres, which is about five and three quarter inches. And width ways, we are nine and a half centimetres, which is about three and three quarter inches. And then the height, we'll do it up to the house. So the height is 14 centimetres, 14 and a bit centimetres which is five and a half inches. So it's quite a little compact one as well, you know, if you've not got much space um, or you've just got a little table, you know, with a lamp or something on and you just want a Christmas decoration on it, then uh, yeah, that's going to look smashing. I love that. So I will be doing this. You'll have to pop back and see me when I've done this. Um, and I'll maybe do a sealing video as well so I can show you how to seal it as well. But yeah, I'm well impressed with that. So let's have a look at these gems. Super tiny packet. Um, oh, let me tell you the price of this one. So it would have been, uh, I think it's £8.66 or £8.86 uh, dollars, and I've paid £6.40. So I mean, for £6, you know, you, you can go in some shops and pay £5 for a blinking Christmas card these days. And it wouldn't be anywhere near as nice as that. 
Okay. And of course, it does go flat as well. You know, you, it will go flat in the little box if you want to diamond paint it and then just send it to somebody. I'm sure they'd be able to figure out how to just stand it together. And then when you've finished with it, you can just take it all apart and put it away flat and store it for next year. So that's fab. Love it. Absolutely love it. Right, so let's have a look at these gems, see what we've got. We've got lots of stars there. So we have a very nice bright red there and there's just a silver backed gold uh, gems, very pretty and then like a champagne gold, oh and look at that silver, that's an AB coated silver and that is really going to sparkle, I think that's going to be the roof of the house and everything so it'll look like snow, we've got a little bit larger red there a little bit larger gold and then lots of little teeny tiny stars where do the stars go do they go on the christmas tree let's have a look yep the stars are going to go on the christmas tree look so we'll have lots of sparkle on the christmas tree wow oh i love that can't wait to get it done in fact i feel like just uh, forget editing the video i'll just start on this now <laughs> Okay, so that's my uh, little haul from New Craft Day. So Anna on newcraftday.com, thank you for sending me these. Um, let me have a look. So we've got a lovely tea canvas. So that one is going to go in my kitchen. I've got a great pen now. Look at that blingy pen to do my diamond painting with. And as I said, it's got square tips. So I'll let you know how I get on with this. I suspect square tips are just going to be exactly the same as rounds. But I will let you know if I notice any different. Okay. And then our lovely little snow scene, which is absolutely wonderful. Okay. Well, I think that's a great little haul. Um, if you've got any questions, if you want to pop them in the comments down below. If you've enjoyed see Oh! If you've enjoyed sit oh <laughs> how did that happen? Whoa, do 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 <laughs> I must have got some air caught in the pen and the lid just popped off. If you've enjoyed sit wow. oh how strange. Okay, uh, right, so yeah, if you've enjoyed seeing this video, uh, then please give me a thumbs up, it would be much appreciated. And if you want to see what I get up to next and see me complete these, then if you press that subscribe button down in the corner and the little bell next to it, you'll be notified when my next videos come out. But thanks for stopping by, hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.